move the orange dot to 9 fourths on the number line. So let's think about this number line right here. This is 0, this is 3, so this must be 1 and 2. We need to go to 9 fourths. So there's two ways of thinking about 9 fourths. One way is to try to convert it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 9 two times, and you'll have 1 left over. So this you could view as 2 and 1 fourth. So you could say this is 2, or this is 1, 2, and then we have to go 1 fourth of the way between 2 and 3. So that looks like about 2 and 1 fourth. So you could think about it that way, or you could even view it as an improper fraction. So let's go by fourths. So that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, which is a whole, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, 8 fourths, which is equal to two wholes. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then we go from 8 fourths to 9 fourths. Either way, we get to that exact same point on the number line. Let's do a few more of these. Move the orange dot to 11 fifths on the number line. So we can do it both ways again. 5 goes into 11 two times, and then you have 1 left over. So you could call this 2 and 1 fifth. So we could go 1, 2, and then 1 fifth. Or we could just think of it in terms of fifths as an improper fraction. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths as a whole, 6 fifths. 7 fifths, 8 fifths, 9 fifths, 10 fifths. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 10 fifths is 2 wholes. 10 fifths and 11 fifths. I'm having more fun than I expected to with this exercise. Let's do one more. Orange dot to 5 halves on the number line. So this is 1 half. This is 2 halves, which is a whole. This is 3 halves. This is 4 halves, which is 2 wholes. This is 5 halves. Another way you could have thought about it, 2 goes into 5 two times with a remainder 1. So this is 2 and 1 half as a mixed number. 1, 2, and 1 half as a mixed number.